Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we learned what is domain and what is data element. Now we will start with the creation of the domains. We will start with the creation of these five domains first. Now we all know whenever I want to create the domains, I will go to SC11 transaction code. SC11 is a transaction code for data dictionary or a BAP dictionary. I will create the domains. So I will select this radio button first. We all know Whenever we want to create a customer specific object, the first name should start with Z or Y. So I will start the name with Z or Y. Suppose I will create a first domain for order number. So I will give Z, suppose O N O. And I will use some, suppose I will take some serial number. Suppose. I'll go to create button. Now in SAP, whenever you are creating any object, you always have to give the short description means for which purpose you are creating the object. Suppose this is a domain for order number. Now, what is the length and type of order number? Type is numeric and length is 10. How I will give? This is the F4 help. We already covered what is F4 help. So I will simply select this F4 help. I will select numeric. And what is the length? Length is and I press enter. Now, in SAP, whenever you are creating any object, you have to do three steps. Control plus S for save. Control plus F2 for syntax check. Control plus F3 for activation. Suppose if I want to save. This is the save button and I can go for control plus S also. Control plus S is the shortcut. I will save it as a local object. Now, this is the syntax check button. I can go for shortcut control plus F2 also. It is saying no inconsistencies found. It means my domain is correct. Now this is the activate button or control plus F3 is the short. Now I'm activating. Now, if you see currently my domain is in active status. So whenever you are creating any object in SAP, check the status should be active. Status should be active. So we created the first domain for order number, which is of numeric type and length of 10. I will note down this domain because I have to use this. Now we will go for creation of another domain. Our second is order date. I'll go to back button. Now I will create another domain for order date. I'll go to create button. I will give the short description. This is a domain for order date. Now in the exercise, it's mentioned it is of that type and it has a length of eight. I will choose this F for help. It is of that type and length 8 automatically appeared. I'll press enter. 
I will save this domain. I'll check the syntax of the domain and I will activate the domain. Control S, Control F2, Control F3. Now, my second domain is also active. Now, I will go for creation of third domain. What is the third domain? Third domain is for payment mode. I'll go to back button. I will give some name create. I will give the short description or the purpose for which purpose I am creating this domain. Now it is mentioned it is of character one. So I will use the F for help. I will choose character. I will give the length as one and I press enter. Now we will learn a important part here. If you see for payment mode, I mentioned C credit card, D debit card and net banking. You can see the length is character one. Then how we can go for credit card full debit card full net banking you can see the length is greater than one credit card debit card net banking it is greater than one so how we will do this sap will store c d and n but what will be visible visible visibility will be credit card debit card net banking so how we can do this as of now, we only learned domain purpose is to give the data type and the length. Now we will also see with the help of domain, you can give the default values or you can give the value range also. This is the value range. So how to give? I'll go to this value range tab. I will give C is credit card, D is debit card, and N is your net banking. So domain is also helping us to pass the default values. I will do the three step process, control S, I'll go to control F2, syntax check, and this is my activation. And I activated this particular domain. I will note down this domain. And whenever our exercise will proceed, you will automatically realize how important is whenever we are giving the default values. Yes. Now we will go for the creation of fourth domain. Fourth domain is of amount and it is mentioned seven comma two. Now what is the meaning of seven comma two? It means before decimal seven places, after decimal two places. Suppose simple example. Suppose if I'm saying I have hundred rupees 50 paisa. It means after decimal places, it is 2. It is 2. So whenever you are going for the amount, you have to give the decimal places also. Whenever you are going for amount fields or money fields, if simple sense, I will say, you always have to specify that after decimal, it will take how many places? how many decimal places so we will create a fourth domain for total cost i will give that domain name i'll click on create i will give the short description total amount and total amount is of curr type 
I will choose the data type C U R R and how I will give number of characters seven and what are the number of decimal places two and I will press enter. So this is the way how you can create a domain of amount type or I'll say this is a money type. So this is the way how we create it. I'll click on save button. I'll check the syntax and I will activate this domain. So my fourth domain is also active. Now I will go for the creation of my last domain for first table. That is currency, currency. How to create? I'll go to back button. I will give some name to the domain create. I will give the short description for which purpose I am creating this domain. What is the data type of this? It is C-U-K-Y. I will choose C-U-K-Y and five length automatically appear. I will press enter. I will save this domain. I'll check the syntax of the domain. And lastly, I will activate this particular domain. I'm noting down this particular domain. So what we learned in this particular video, how to create domains. We created five domains. We gave the data type and length in the domain. And the additional learning we did is how to give the value range in that domain and how to give the decimal places in case of amount fields. In the next video, we will go for the creation of the data elements. Thank you.